Okay, so morning everybody. Uh, here we are again, yet another week on Zoom. Um, yeah, so just find your posture. Have your feet parallel. <clears throat> Draw the toes in. Sink the hips. Relax around the knees. Lengthen up through the crown of the head. Sink the hips, <clears throat> sink the shoulders. And just stand for a moment. So just notice the contact between your feet and the ground. Gently draw the toes in so that you're gently activating the arches of your feet. Relax around the jaw. And breathe. Yeah, my, my housemate's watching the cricket. He should really be coming to Tai Chi. He'd be much more relaxed. <laughs> nice and tall through the head. Just notice the breath as it comes in. Notice the breath as it comes out. Feeling relaxed. And centred. And embodied. Relax the hands, wrists and elbows. Now we're just going to turn the waist. So uh, yeah, it was it was positively tropical outside this morning. You know, <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't feel I've got to take my coat off. Very strange. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've now got our normal weather of cold, uh, of not too cold, but nice and wet and grey. And I thought, brilliant. So, uh, <clears throat> keep breathing though. So you just want to allow your arms to be moved. We're just, we're just doing this. You've not missed anything, mate. <laughs> Brilliant, that's good. I was, um, yeah, we got a few people missing today, so. breathing. Very good everybody, but it'll be even better if you sink your hips a bit more. <laughs> Very good, fabulous. Yeah, so I spent the entire day being bamboozled by Corel on uh, Saturday. Um, I can't tell you what I've learned. 
no it kind of melted my brain a bit so um, you'll have to wait until it's all kind of processed before I can actually teach you anything from Saturday but never mind um, so just keep breathing Very good. Okay, now raise your arms and keep that, uh, feel that open feeling in the chest. So, yeah, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll look at Ty's shirt today. Um, we didn't actually do Ty's shirt at the weekend, but it was mentioned, even though we didn't do it. So I thought, okay, well, let, let's do that here. Um, the eight posture exercise very good okay <clears throat> check your alignment so the chin you want the chin not too far forwards not too far back just gently resting on that imaginary ball Just continue with the loosening. So that nice and relaxed. And then we we do this one. Relax the shoulders, soften the arms, draw the toes in, and then turn the palms up so you feel the chest open. breathing and change. Very good. Okay, check your posture again. So, um, yeah, the Tai Chi exercise, really good for your posture, but there's nothing stopping you practicing getting it correct even before we do that. So, we're just going to tune into your knees. You want to have happy knees. So, your knees want to be pointing where the toes are pointing. You're sinking your hips. And then we're just gonna, oh. So yeah, at this point, I've, I've been 
been asked by my boss at Forever Active to mention the Tuesday morning class. Um, it's kind of like a combination with what I do on, uh, on today and Thursday mornings with what I do on a Friday, but it's a lot, it's a much more subdued version <laughs> and it's mainly working on balancing. So making sure, of uh, strengthening the legs so you can balance on them better. Um, and I'm, I'm quite enjoying it, but uh, yeah, get in touch if you are interested. <laughs> right, plug over, fabulous. So now we just, okay, relax your hands more everybody and just let go in your Ming Men. Your Ming Men point in the lower back. Great. Okay, let, let the arms relax some more. Now just check your alignment. Take a few slow deep breaths. Feel the ground under your feet. And then we're going to turn the waist and just let the arms swing forwards and back. So you want to start this. Okay, yeah, I've been hanging around with Corel too long. Um, you want to start this very minimalistic, so, and focusing on the shoulder joint. So remember your, your shoulder joint is a ball and socket, it's a ball and socket joint, and it can move in all sorts of, um, lots of different directions, even more than your hip, um, hip joint. So. Just try it very small. So I did a um, <clears throat> similar thing with Eva. And you're using your waist turn, your yow, your yow, waist turn, to, to just allow the, the arms to be moved. So if you if you have a look, look how far my arms are moving at the moment. Hardly anything at all. So try it that way and then gradually build the momentum. So we, we were looking at a lot of small, from what I remember from, from Saturday, we were looking at a lot of small body movements. And then when you're moving, you're, you're really feeling the connections through the body. So you want to you wanna sit down. Remember, you're just about to sit down on a chair. Okay, now, now try it a bit bigger, see if that's worked. So really turn the waist, if you want to make a bigger movement, turn your waist more. That's it, that's much better, yeah, much better everybody. So even though you all look a bit like an L.S. Lowry painting, I can still see what you're doing. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. There we go. Fabulous. Right. Oh, and a, and a hello to Charlie, who's looking at the video later. He's he can't he can't make it today, so I hope you're enjoying this, Charlie. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, right now we'll change, we'll do wobbling. So we did do a bit of wobbling on Saturday, but he didn't say anything about it, so I can't tell you anything about it, sorry about that. But we did it for a while. <laughs> yeah, Carell has this amazing teaching style which involves not giving you any information and confusing you. Brilliant, works a treat. So, sink down. There we go. Okay. Shoulders. One, just one shoulder. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With your spinal wave, I'll show it from this, this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, <coughs> seven, Eight. Nice and relaxed. Slightly wider stance. Dragon surfs teacups ten times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Shake. Check your posture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, <coughs> three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, over and under. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, bow and arrow stance. We're just going to check that our legs are working. We're going to go forwards and back. So you want to make sure your knees are aligned with the toes, your hips. And your shoulders are square on. So you can actually use your screen as a way of making sure you're, you're correctly lined up. And we're all breathing. Very good. That's it. Taller, everybody.
Okay, now change change sides. So we'll, we'll um, so this is a very good <clears throat> this is a very good exercise to practice at home with. That was a really subtle hint. But it's really good for building the strength up in your in your legs. And uh, when I when I did a private lesson with Eva ages ago, we did this for I was with her for an hour and a quarter and we spent most of it just working on maybe one or two exercises. This was one of them. Pretty full on. Sink back and turn. Sink forward and turn. Now you want to use your sleepy tiger eyes so you turn to the corner, you turn to the front. You turn to the corner, you turn to the front. Try the other side. So we're just going to do the turning one. Then we're going to have a look at Taisha, but we won't we won't hold it too long. It can get a little bit uh, character building, Taisha, or Tai Hui, Tai Hui, yeah. So. Stand for a moment. Okay, so movement one, press palms. So you push your palms down slightly. Actually, come a bit closer for that. So have a look at my palms. Let me let me show you. So we're like this, and you've got your warm bread rolls underneath each of your arms, and you are just about to sit down. And we just do five in and out breaths. Okay, palms out. So you're spiraling and relaxing, supporting heaven. So the spiral is going that way and you're opening your chest and you're sinking your hip. I'll show you that from the, the back view. Holding the ball, so you go underneath.
then number five. Separating earth from sky. Nice and tall. And the other side. That's it. So use your picture to check your posture, and you don't have to hold it up as long as me because this isn't a boot camp. Right, number six. Holding up the sky. Separating east from west. Come a bit closer for that, so you're like this. So my fingers are up, but I've also got slightly bent elbows so it's kind of like that I like this one when we stop actually <laughs> and then opening the gate of life so that's this area the Ming Men area your gate of life so you're opening the gate of life Have a little shake out, have a little tug. So that was a whistle stop tour of Tai Shu standing exercises. And it's it's really good for your shoulders, but um, if you're practicing this one at home, maybe just do um, maybe do it for three breaths actually. Uh, eventually you hold each of the positions for five minutes. And then when we do, because when I go and do a day, of, when I do a, a weekend retreat, you know, once we've all had our jab and we can go out there in the world um, and then we can do our, our, our weekend retreats again, they, they um, the advanced group hold each position for five minutes. So it's a 45 minute, exercise um, but actually you can get a lot just by you know maybe a minute tops really you want to build yourself you want to build up to the five minutes and also it it took me the best part of a kind of year and a half of dedicated training on that to be able to hold each position for five minutes and I, I just really paced myself let's stop for a very short water break and then we'll we'll get on with the um, shibashi set now we've now we've got our structure all correct. So water break, or in my case, ginger and turmeric tea break. Ooh. So I might, my uh, mum sent me some turmeric tea, turmeric tea and ginger tea through the uh, post. So I'm just trying it out. It just tastes like hot water, really, but never mind. Yeah, you want to you want to take it easy, you know. I mean, like last week was really cold, and now, oh, it's not too bad now. The sun's come out, but it was a bit damp. So you want to you want to be considerate towards your body at all times, especially when you're doing doing arts such as Tai Chi Chuan. Uh, very important. 
Right, I've prevaricated enough. Let's get on with the. Um, hang on, let me just check. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's let let's uh, let's do all eighteen moves. Right. So we just start. Start by really, really feeling the ground. Breathing and out. Breathe in the beginning. change so make your arms very soft and light really lighten them show you that from the with the chest open lovely so you go up open more each side. Thank you. 
Cups. Soft, smooth, and slow. Sink the hips. Use your weight. Sink the hips, relax the shoulders, relax the chest.
scoop the sea, look up at the sky. more. Lengthen through the spine. One more time. Fine, pigeon. Nice and relaxed. Other side, soft, light, steady. Connected and calm. Very soft hands, really light in the arms. And the other side. One more round.
other direction. Check your posture, the penultimate move. For each side. And one more. off with a bit of tree chi gong and um, yeah what, what we'll be doing the next couple of weeks we'll be having a look at the variations so the different versions of this of some of the moves that I've learned with some of the other teachers just to kind of compare and contrast but obviously this is more closer to the official version that the professor made in 1979 so um, So the, the tree chi gong, which is like a, a precursor to the health dance, it's something I've been I've been working on my health dance um, last few weeks. You you just take a slightly wider stance and you're just practicing shifting from foot to foot. So I just I'm just swinging from foot to foot, and then basically you just move however feels appropriate. So you might have a high tree. You might have a low tree, low hanging branches, might be medium. So you basically make it up as you go along. And just see what see what comes out. You might want to try some of the movements. You might want to try some of the movements. You might want to You know all the moves that we've just done. some moves up so you just just see what you come out with and the, the idea you're just getting used to moving with the weight movements so it's just a, a very relaxing and sneaky way of getting you to just kind of move around So, um, yeah, have a quick look at health dance. We won't do it this week because we haven't got time. But you kind of do things like this. And you, you kind of move around and just... Move around like that. There you go. There's a little bit of health dance. Something I've been working on um, from the last few uh, day seminars with... With Ollie, so I, I did go and look up some of the masters doing their health dance, and some are very slow when they do their health starts, and some are kind of j jumping all over the place. So it's very, very interesting. Very interesting. Oh gosh, right, okay. Let's let's do that. So 
So I'll get this recording over to Lil and to Charlie, who couldn't make it today. <laughs> Never mind. So the good thing about online learning is that if you can't make the class, you can come to the class after in the recording. You know, and just follow it as if you're doing it in real time. I, I, I attended a gig yesterday with me other half for our, our date and because um, the gig was actually on Saturday but we were training so we and it was just like being it was amazing because <laughs> we were watching it fresh it was fabulous really good piano player person very good and then embrace the tiger return to the mountain Okay, and then let's see if it works this morning, or this, almost this afternoon. Rub your hands together and polishing the face, very nice. And rub the hands together and give the lower back a rub. Oh, lovely. Oh, fabulous. And then check your posture. Take some breaths, and then we'll do a few more rounds of embrace tiger. We just want to make sure, um, you know, especially because we were doing the standing exercise earlier, you want to make sure you're still aligned and you're still maintaining your focus right to the end of the class. Very, very good practice, very good practice. Check your posture, tune into the ground. Right, here we go again. So actually, let's do it even slower. So imagine your arms are just light, soft like air and water Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. So you're embracing your vibrant sort of vitality and then returning to the mountain, returning to that calm, quiet, still place. Resilience, clarity, and strength. And then just stand for a moment and just check your posture.
make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, bring the feet together, and bow. Good. Right, any questions? I'll just stop.